Welcome back to uh, another episode of Rossiter Ong Home Improvement Series. Today, it's hot. It's really sunny. Yeah, there's the sun. It's sunny. And today's project is to take this kind of disaster, which is my fence paint that is peeling off. And I gotta go around the entire perimeter of the fence. And we're going to be water blasting all this off. So I've got to work my way around, which means I have to work different hoses and different electricity sources to get all the way around. Uh, the reason for why the paint did this is when it was painted, the concrete behind it was still a little moist. And so the paint never sealed properly to the concrete. And so we are in the dry season right now. And I'm going to take advantage of this dry season to get the paint re yeah, get the paint refest get the fence repainted. And that's it for today. My painter has been gone for the last three days. He's been back home dealing with his own family stuff. And so nothing has gotten done around here. Typical when you only hire one person to do a job, they show up when they want to and then leave when they want to. But I've been asked to get the fence done today so that they can start on it this week because the downstairs is almost completed and he's going to start on the fence before he starts putting up the scaffolding. Because once the scaffolding goes up, it's just a real pain to walk around the property. So we want to do it as quick as possible. You may notice my American style bandana. It's not actually an American flag, so nobody give me any flack about that. It has 18 stripes on it and way more than 50 stars. But it just looks like an American flag, and I thought it was pretty cool. And it keeps my eyes from getting burned by my own sweat. So let's get cracking on my using my um, power washer and I'll take you show you what it is. This is my power washer. It is the Stark Everest. This is the third power washer I've gone through. I've had other ones that the motors have burned out on them for running them too long. Um, which some of the nice features about this particular power washer, it has a hose that you can coil up and the hose is almost six yards long, which is really nice. Um, it came with three different uh, heads. It has this one here, which is the one I like to use for blasting. There's one there for the, the, the store there. That one's for washing. And the third one I have is upstairs is one that sprays like a blade. And I don't use that one too often. I find this one right here, which shoots in a swirly motion, a very tight, strong amount of water. And that's what I'm going to be using today. And I have two projects over here to do. First thing I got to do is uh, clean up the doggy do so I don't step in any of it. Then I can start blasting the fence over here and all the way down. My extension cord is run all the way from the carport and luckily I have a hose right here in the corner so and this hose will be able to get me all the way down to this side of the fence and almost halfway down that fence as well and then I have another hose already down there all ready to go to pick up where this one fails. All right, let me get set up and I'll show you how this whole thing works. So one of the first things I like about this particular water cannon, whatever you want to call it, pressure washer, is how the hose hooks up to it. Slides right in, press the button, and then it locks in, and the hose then can swirl. So what's nice about this is the hose then doesn't get tangled because it makes it very easy to keep it from happening. That's the first thing. Same thing with the magic wand for it. It's a simple push in and turn, and it's ready to go. It has a nice little hold in place there when you're not using it. Now I'm going to turn on the water power, and we're going to get going. The other thing that's really nice about how this hook, whole thing hooks up, it has a simple clip. It just clicks on right here, and that's it. The water's connected. So easy to use. I can see there's a bubble 
along this entire row. So this is all going to come off real easy. I'll show you here the finished product in just a couple of seconds. Clean off this area. So I've got one section here completed. The assistant is doing a great job. This is me for filming. I was noticing that the water pressure wasn't very good, and then I realized why. There's a hole in the hose. There's a hole in this hose. Oh, sorry about that. And there's another one over here. And you can see that it's got dog bites on this one. I've got to figure out how to salvage this because this is one of my longer hoses and still be able to use my machine here. This is not going to be fun. So I called my wife up to ask her if she knew of any hardware store that would be open because right now most of them are closed due to our current um, situation here in Thailand. And her brother-in-law happened to her brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, her brother happened to be there, and he told me, try patching it with some PVC pipe. And I'm like, huh, what? So he told me what to look for in the shed. And so this, two pieces of PVC pipe that will cover this hose perfectly and some PVC glue and a pipe cutter. And he says, cut it and then slide, you know, this PVC piping over both ends of it, glue it in there, and this will act like a nice patch. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a try. I don't have anything to lose at this point. Let's see how it works out. So let's see what it looks like before I gotta find where the holes are. I see the one down there already. I know there's another one, I hear it over here. There it is. I have one there to do, and I have, oh, this one's really easy to find, one here to do. Let's give this a try. Well, it's the end of the day. I've run out of power, four hours of spraying, and you can see where I ran out of water, uh, actually electricity, I couldn't get my cord all the way over here, so I've gotta get an extension of my extension cord over here, but as we walk down the fence, it's plain to see how much paint had not adhered to the fence. Not exciting at all about that. So tomorrow I'll be out here with the rake cleaning up all the paint chippings. But I'm just exhausted. Four hours out here in the sunshine is just too much for me. But you can get an idea of what it was like to blow it all away. And this continues, well, all the way down. I'm not going to walk you all the way down, but you get the idea. That's what would happen today. I will show you what two coats of paint looks like on the house, which is looking really weird right now between the upstairs, which is our old colors, and the downstairs and our new colors. 
and it looks to me that what used to be the wall boards paint is now becoming the wall color here but I'm told it's going to be darker and it, and it already does look out darker this is only two coats there'll still be a third coming which will make it be the final coat but it definitely is looking a lot sharper even the belt along the top there the concrete trim is looking really sharp again nice nice burgundy color between the top trim and the bottom that hasn't been painted yet you can see what it, what a difference the new color is but this is the end of episode four of Ross and Rayong's Home Improvement. If you liked the video, leave a comment below. If you didn't like the video, leave a comment below. Either way, let me know. It's Ross and Rayong. Like, subscribe. You know how that works. Share. Catch you in episode five.